Okay. Who joined me? Oh, Jessica. Hi, Jess. I had some problems signing up. Who else joins? Say hello. Write your name. Who joined? I know Jessica and... I'm gonna wait a couple of more minutes. I had some problems uh, turning it on uh, at 5.30. I had some issue with my Firefox, but now we're good to go. So, let's just wait a couple of minutes. I'm gonna send a quick text to everyone. Okay, say hello, write your name, whoever joined, okay? I know it's Jessica and I'm missing two people. Who else, who else joined? We got five people. Nah, nah, six people. Okay, I'm gonna wait for. Okay, you're still at work. You should be at home, working from home. Oh, unless you're that essential. Hmm. Please write your name, whoever else joined us. I'm quickly texting everyone just to remind. We got six people, Sergio. Hi, Sergio. Exactly, Lisa. Don't don't BS. You can dance at work. We have very fun, very easy class for today. Millet! Millet! Hi! Thank you for joining. At least, Lisa, at least you will not hit the traffic. Hi, Jennifer! It's very difficult to scare Millet over YouTube. Millet! <laughs> I don't know if Pascu is joining us. Let me see quickly. Pascu, are you joining? No, no worries, not yet. I still want to give everybody a couple more minutes. We got seven people. Hi, guys. I'm like expecting somebody to say something back. Right? Yeah, it's weird when you talk to the camera and there is no response. But I still have some people that did not introduce themselves. I know there is uh, Jennifer, Millet, Lisa, and Jess, and Sergio. So we're still short. Still three people or two people are, hi, pass, are, are here incognito. Introduce yourself, please. We're going to wait hmm, maybe two more minutes and then we'll start. 
Millet is having breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Mark, hey Mark. Oh yay! I just texted. Millet is having breakfast, lunch, and dinner in one. That's that's how you do it. I like your mouth on. <laughs> What are we doing? Uh, samba. We're gonna do two things today. We're gonna work on our, uh, well, um, well, Jessica says hi, Tess. Uh, hi, Tess. We have um, we have two figures to discuss. Review first what we've done on our last class, and then discuss uh, two new steps. Okay, we got some. You got some message. Um, Okay, one more minute and we'll start. Dogs looking at us like they don't know again what's going on. Why are we talking to the camera, to the computer? How is the sound? Can you guys hear it very good? Please write down if, if, if the voice somehow gets worse if I step further away from the camera or how, how, is, that, how is that working right now? This thing is getting... Okay. Yo, my voice is precious. Okay. Carmelita, at least you make me laugh still. Hi, Lisa. I have smiled and laughed for three weeks, Milet. Oh my God. You're going to be so, so serious when, when we are after the break. You will be like. Okay. So I'm wearing these shoes today so you can see better my footwork. Hopefully, uh, I get that floor is kind of dark and it's harder, the further I go, the harder it is to see the, the knees or, or my feet. So at least I have a different um, shoes so you can see. Okay. Yeah, of course, of course, just two steps. Or oh, both and rolls. Okay. I think it's time to start. So. Good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we got eight people on. Uh, you guys are getting nine people on. You guys are getting lazy. Last time we had 26, 27. So, you know, it's Samba class, so you don't... Ah, it's time to work hard. Come on. First, we're going to review what we've learned last week, uh, especially that Samba bounce action. Hi, Patricia. Uh, and secondly, we're going to go to two new steps. One is very, very common, very uh, important. And we use that on almost every show that we dance Samba. It's uh, Volta, right? And then we'll do our, like I have this method of teaching Samba roles um, in three stages. So we're going to start with the stage one and two today. Um, it's kind of hard to learn Samba roles on the distance through Wi-Fi. It's very hard to to actually make these two bodies work together. But if you follow these three mm, stages of samba rolls, there's a higher chance that uh, not nobody will get hurt when we have finally chance to dance. That nobody will get hurt, and that um, it will work and look very very good. So first, I have this little samba song for Lola. My favorite. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is on the side. Maybe if you can close the door so you see if sound goes better. Huh? Ah. Okay. So we're gonna start with the bounce action, right? So if you can join me, join me. We're gonna put the song from the beginning. I want you to stand comfortably on the width of your hips. It's weird. Nobody answers back to me. I hope you're paying attention. I hope that you're trying hard. I hope that you're comfortable. Okay. So I assume you already cracked. Sorry. Crack your back and stand on left leg or your right. And just bend your knee. Let your hips back. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a little bit like a humping motion, right? We, I want to see that your 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 shirt, your uh, pelvis 
cross forward, uh, cross forward and back. Okay. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you for uh, for posting that. Okay. So no, this is that then. It's a great song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an awesome song. So. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And I want you to feel. Now let's slow it down for a second. Okay, dogs, get up. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, I want you to go towards the ground. I want you to feel like your hip is going towards the ground forward, right? Remember, we no longer go up and down on our knees, so go forward to the floor. So I want you to feel this vector of energy, this, this energy that your knee is going down forward this way, that way, and your hips too. Whoop, 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 whoop. Would, I'm sure you feel weird when you're standing in the front of your TV at home or your phone and, and you're trying this, but this is a really good exercise and frankly, you cannot say no to me right now because I cannot hear you. You can only write your comments. So here we go. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And going back to the first class, just like this song, just like the band that plays, our body is like an uh, like a whole band. So my knees are is one instrument, are one instrument. My feet are a different instrument. My hips is another sound and create another sound. So uh, just like you will hear this song from the beginning, uh, our body kind of creates this rhythm and these sounds that they overlap each other and they give us this beautiful samba song. So I want you to start for, from your feet, right? Your feet don't do much. They just go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? So in a much bigger sense, it's only boom, 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 right? Then we go to our knees and our knees go Wah ah 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 right and then our hips will go a little bit more rounded up so wow 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 wah wow wah ah wow ah wunk ah wunk da 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 oh I hope you like how I sing. This is the, my, I'm doing my best right now. So uh, let's listen to the song from the beginning. And let's start just like the song with just the steps, just with your feet. We got. Canta, canta, minha gente. Again. Canta, canta. Now you hear the shaker is adding up, right? Now your hips. Move. Move. A little bit more circular motion. Wow. Mark, you should remember this song. You did you guys did spot like to this, right? <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, long ago. And then we can add the steps from last week. One, uh, two, one. Ah, uh, two, one, and go forward. One, ah, uh, two, one, ah, uh, two, one, ah, uh, two, and then go back to the waist. Ah, uh, two, one, ah, uh, two, one, ah, uh, two, one, ah, uh, two, one, ah, uh, two. And remember what we talked about last week, and I really, really want you to remember this. Um, when we talked about the rhythm, this, the samba rhythm, right? So it's not one, ah, two. It's when you pay attention to my feet, it is one, ah, two. One, ah, two. One, ah, two. 
one up two okay so we're gonna hold that hold that one now we're gonna do a little experiment today I want you to write down in the comment I'm gonna write in my notes on my phone who was right you all know samba is my favorite dance what's my second favorite dance hi Lauren you're late no problem you're just gonna have to bring me watermelon when I see you next time <laughs> Um, sorry, that's the deal. Um, so, can you get them up? Okay. Um, so, what's my second favorite dance? Please write down in the comments. Uh uh, it's not Foxtrot, I can tell you that, but uh, please write down in the comments and uh, I will have surprise whenever some chocolate covered prunes for all of you whenever I can see you, whoever guesses correctly. Okay? I will be happy to do this. Um, so, let's move on to the steps that we did on our last class. Definitely, it's not nightclub to step. Uh, cha -cha. Okay, I'm not saying anything else, just cha -cha. not foxtrot. I know, I know. Oh. But, um, uh, it's not foxtrot, it's not nightclub to step, I can tell you this. Okay, so, let's quickly review our uh, samba whisk, right? So, we were going to the right. One and two, right? Stepping behind. And two. We learned also stationary samba walk. One and two, three and four, right? And we learned uh, basic forward and basic to the side. When we go one and two, three and four, or forward five and six, seven and eight, right? So these. What, four figures, right? One, well, this is one step really, if you go forward or if you go to the back. Um, samba whisk, stationary, samba walk, right? So all of the bases on the same rhythm, one, uh, two, right? I think our dogs are really curious, uh, they really want to be on TV, so let me introduce you really quickly and then get out, okay? Yeah. The most curious samba dancer right here, and and then the, the stupid one, but I like him more. Okay, sit down and don't interrupt. So, um, today we're gonna review, we're gonna learn two new steps. We're gonna learn <laughs> Roomba, it must be the polka. Uh, where is polka from? That's another question. Where is polka from? Which country? Um, so, um, we're gonna learn Samba Volta, and then we're gonna learn Samba Ross, like I said like I said earlier, right? So in Volta, this is very, very common step. Um, how does Volta look like? Let's show first, let's show. Mm -hmm. There's five different types of Volta, but it's very, very simple. It only has two steps really. One and second step, right? We count it A, one, A, two, A, three, A, four, or whatever. If there was no wall, I will continue, right? Or I can go the other way, you can cross me. A, uh, one, A, uh, two, A, uh, three, A, uh, four. So very often when I, when I uh, work with some, some, of, some of you guys and you didn't have chance to dance samba before, but you are very comfortable with all the other dances, you say, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. And then it sometimes looks like, uh, like you're limping on the wrong foot, right? So what I want you to do is please notice, um, please notice which foot which step is shorter which is on the uh, so just ball of the foot which one is the flat foot right so if i'm going towards the camera i think it's um, my right let's say i'm going with my whatever right foot on a i step slightly behind not in the same line slightly behind right just enough behind so i can pass my foot with no problem secondly this foot goes on the ball of the foot only do not place your flat foot, do not step like this. I want this foot to be turned out. So if I'm facing this wall and I'm going towards you, my right foot is turned out almost straight. Uh, well, it's almost perpendicular. That's a fancy word of the week, perpendicular, right? And that I'm outraged. So if you don't do it right, I will be so outraged. Okay, so right foot goes, whatever foot, goes slightly behind, to the side. Now, how far? Not too far. This is this is enough. So just enough to create a little gap between my thighs, right? I don't want to go very, very far. It's going to be very difficult for me to move quickly, right? So this step should be rather small so I can 
quickly cross my feet, right? Ah, one. Right. So, let's try to do this first. The ball of the foot, and then flat. Ah, one. Ah, uh, two. And you, if you don't have enough space, sorry? Yeah, if you don't have enough space at home, it's okay. We can do it on the circle, right? So we can go to the left or to the right. One. Ah, uh, two. Ah, uh, three. Ah, uh, four. So you literally have no excuse. You can practice this in the tiny corner and even in the kitchen, right? So, or at the shower, right? Because there is different five different types of volta, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let's try to do this again. Now let's add that bounce action we were talking about last week. So, ah, uh, hips go back. Two, sorry, and uh, one. Then my hips go forward. Ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four. Let's see the comments quickly. Sounds like Bohemian, Czech Republic. Yes, yes, from Czech, that's right. Okay, Marilyn joined us too. Hi, Marilyn. Okay, so one more time. We go ah, uh, hips, booty out, one, and booty under. Now tuck it in under. One, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four. As you could see right now, if you will well, later on, you can go back on that video when we uploaded it permanently. You will see that I just took a step like this. That's ugly, right? So always turn up. Ah, uh, one, ah, uh, two. Ah, uh, three. So I barely want to see that heel. Okay, it should be more like it should be more turned up. Now we're going away from the camera with the other foot. So now take a step slightly behind and cross. One, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four. And to the camera. One, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four. And again. One, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four. So I cannot stress this out enough that you need to turn out your feet. And it's not just your feet, it's the whole, it's the whole uh, leg, right? Starting from your, from your, from your hip. So, Pascu, uh, and Mark, Pascu says that you will remember that. <laughs> I really hope you will remember that. Uh, I hope you all remember that. One more time. So if you see me facing you, now let's talk about the angles a little bit. I don't stand very, very straight. I, I start at a slightly different angle. So if I'm going, this way towards the wall or towards towards let's say I'm moving towards you my shoulders are not facing past me. my shoulders will be slightly turned towards that towards that let's say my one o'clock or so right my foot goes at four o'clock and as I'm crossing my hips go also towards that one o'clock right now there is so many different ways that, that I was taught throughout my whole career how to do volta with my hip action, with my knee action and all. Seems that most of the dancers, that's just my opinion, most of the dancers don't do it like we were taught in the back in the day, but we just do like a little round action, right? We just do this, this action, just making a little circle, right? So we somehow pull a dancing, no problem, right? Here we go. One step behind. Cross. Now, think only about the hip that is in more in the front. So my hips are facing this way. My shoulders are facing a little bit less of an angle, but still, still at an angle, right? Now I want to do this. I want to just focus on my front hip. So for a minute now, let's just go wow, wow, wow. You can even lift the other foot. So you can just focus on how does your leg, how does your weight your weight should be doing like a full circle on your ball of the foot, all right? So you should be like rolling. Now, this is the best moment of the class. I hope that, Sergio, I hope that Eddie is watching as well. Now we're gonna do the zoom on the footwork. So, when I stand on my left leg, I don't want to just be on a flat foot. I want to feel like I'm, like, I'm rolling from the myself if I do this. But I do want to feel, I do want to feel, no, no, it's good, it's good. So I want to feel this, that my weight goes from here to here, right? That makes like a little circle, right? So we, we try one. And you can see me in the mirror in the back, right? One, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four, right? So at some point you see that my toes almost take off because I shift almost to my heel, right? 
Now, since you're used to dance in the heels, doesn't matter, boys or girls, we all dance in some sort of heels, on some sort of heels, either Cuban heel or high heel. We sometimes if we get so spoiled that we dance volta on just on our toes. This heel needs to come down, right? So, special shout out to Eddie Alba. I hope you really like this angle. Please pay attention to to your uh, to your footwork if it's flat or if it's just ball of the foot. Okay, let's try it again. You have no excuses. You have to do it in the front of the camera and right in the front of TV right now, and you cannot complain because I will not hear you. Right. So one more time. Let's go. Let's start. Ah, one. Ah, two. Ah, three. Ah, four. All right, I just noticed him. <laughs> Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. A, one. A, two. A, three. A, four. And come back. One. A, two. A, three. A, four. And now tuck your hips under. One. A, two. A, three. A, four. Right? So it's again. One. A, two. One. A two, one, A two, action, okay? All right, now we're gonna try to do this with, with slower tempo. Where is my song? Mm -hmm. Still have battery, that's great. Let's put it at 75%. Recently, uh, my student Gina taught me this little trick. If you guys want to slow down the music that is on YouTube, all you need to do when you go to YouTube, click on these three little dots, and then you have option to, um, oh, it's on the reverse, playback speed. One of these options is playback speed, and then you can choose what tempo do you want. You can slow it down just briefly, quarter, half, three quarter uh, speed, and so on. But three quarters should be good. So what's my favorite, what's my second favorite dance? Write down. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, ah, uh, one, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four, okay, one, ah, uh, two, Ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four, again, one, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four, ah, uh, five, ah, uh, six, ah, uh, seven, and again, one, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four, five, ah, uh, six, Ah, uh, seven, ah, uh, eight. Okay, cool. Now, like I said, we're going to have to pay attention to what type of volta do we really do. One of my teachers, very, very, <clears throat> very, very good teacher, very good dancer to a couple, they were, they were explaining it and dividing it into five different types of volta. So if I'm wrong, uh, don't blame me, blame my teacher. Haha. <laughs> so um, we're going to talk about normal volta these steps that we just have done right now. That's normal Volta. Then we're gonna do drop Volta, which is a little bit slower. Then we're gonna do uh, traveling Volta, circular Volta, solo spot turn, and that's it. That's it, I think, yeah. So what would be the difference? If we, if, if Pascu does normal Volta, if she does normal Volta, uh, let's start, I want to be uh, next to you. So, uh, yeah, sorry, let me just take one second. Sorry, hey. Sorry, guys. They really like to be on the video. I'm just going to close the doors. Tell me if the quality of the internet uh, of our connection goes down, but it should be fine. So, if Pascu does normal Volta, if Pascu does normal Volta, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, the next type of Volta, or the next to her, is drop Volta. So, you will see her going 
Five, a six, a seven, and you go. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven. So I go basically twice, uh, have, have the speed of her, right? Let's try it again the other way. So we go five, six, seven, eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, right? So when her timing, the normal volta timing goes a one, a two, should be half, half, right? Half of the beat, half of the beat. A one, a two, straight bend, straight bend. Really, well, what 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 we uh, what Pasqui does is one quarter, three quarter. A one, a two, a three to make it more interesting, right? I go. Quarter and then one and a three quarter on the second step. So here we go. Ah, we take ah, ah, and then she goes two, a uh, one, sorry, a uh, one, and I wait another beat, two, and then again, ah, one, and she goes ah, uh, two, and I rest. So that drop volta is for us to show the beautiful, beautiful samba hip action. Now, if I wasn't clear, let's try this again. Normal volta goes. A uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. Drop volta. A uh, one, two, a uh, three, four. So we'll use that volta to show change in the rhythm, to show uh, stronger hip action, right? That would be another example. Let's try it together. Let's try it. Uh, let's try it together. It doesn't matter which foot. Drop volta. A uh, one two a uh, three four a uh, five six a uh, seven eight. So when you dance this volta, you will have more time. Again, another footwork moment. One of my teachers told me that when you do a regular volta, don't try to do the second step on a ball. Just go flat right away. So in regular volta, a uh, one. In drop volta. A uh, one two. So you have more time to develop that step and to place your weight on your heel as well. Put your heel down, right? So a uh, one a uh, two or a uh, one two a uh, three four. Okay. The quicker you can cross your legs, the sharper you look, the more interesting your timing will be. Now we go to next type of volta. Traveling volta. So usually after the the drop volta, you want to move. Usually in our routines, we want to move, right? So you will go a uh, one, two, a uh, three, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight. So that will show us different acceleration, right? Let's try it together. So we're gonna start with the drop volta. We're gonna do two drop volta and then travel the volta. A uh, one, two, a uh, three, and a run. A uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight, and again. One, two, a uh, three, four, a uh, five, uh, right. And when you do traveling volta, I usually don't want to do too much of my hip action. I just want to transfer my weight, my spine, just to move from one side of the room to another. We do this all day already. When we go crazy, we just do volta from left to right uh, for half of the day. Okay, so that's very easy. No hip action, just move, right? Another type of volta, circular volta. It's very similar to traveling volta, but in a circle. So when we dance it in a couple, usually you will see this uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, but we want to change direction. Really, there is not much more of an explanation to it. That's it. Don't want to practice that. Then we have two difficult ones. Uh, two. Traveling volta, drop volta, circular volta, regular volta is the difficult one, I think. The drop as well. And then the state solo spot volta turn, right? When you do it within two. So you got one, a uh, two. And one, a uh, two. And one, uh, two, and one, uh, two. So step is really the same. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. But you change it halfway through, right? Again, we're going to do one, uh, two, 
and then the other way, one and two. Okay, that's it, but we turn it. Let's try it again. One and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. This is very easy. This is very easy, no problem. Okay, so let's try it again, but now with the rotation. So start facing me and then turn to your your left, I believe, right? And one, up, two, hips go under, and then unwind, three, up, uh, four, five, up, uh, six, seven, up, uh, eight. If you're confused right now, this is exactly why we don't do um, online classes all the time. That's exactly why you need me next to you, so I can just walk you in the right direction, because I cannot help you when you don't even talk to me, right? But this is the another type of Volta. Now, learning all of that, summarizing all of that, uh, we have five types, right? Pasco is going to show us. Regular type of Volta, and we go R1, R2, R3, R4, or the other way, 1, R2, R3, R4. Then we have Drop Volta, when you go to uh, half the tempo, R1, 2, R3. Four, ah, uh, five, six, yes, correct. The other way. And ah, uh, one, two, ah, uh, three, four, ah, uh, five. On that one, you can go a little bit higher and lower. You can actually bounce a little bit more. You do have time for that in, in that sense. You can go all the way up onto your toes and then take your time lowering your weight onto your front foot. Another uh, volta, uh, traveling volta. So, R1, R2, R3. So funny, yes. It looks funny when you, when you do it alone. And when <laughs> it looks like nothing, but when, when we have uh, something before and after that is more dynamic uh, or, or slower or, or, or more stationary, it looks really cool in comparison, in, in contrast. And then we have a solo spot, a circular, a circular volta when we do a little circle. In the traveling vault, no, 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 on the traveling vault, oh. we go like half, half moon, right? Very easy. And then we have solo spot vault a turn. Here we go. One, a uh, two, slower. Three, a uh, four. One, a uh, two, three, a uh, four. And it's important in this vault to practice spotting your eyes, right? So when I look at you, I only look at you. I only go one, or the other way. One, a uh, two. Three, uh, four. I'm not going everywhere because I will get super dizzy, right? But like I said, today will be a little bit more advanced, so this is already quite challenging. Now we're gonna do something really stupid. We're gonna learn how to do samba rolls my way. Unfortunately for you, we're gonna do it my way. So uh, the way I teach samba rolls is in three stages. Uh, I don't know if any of you has seen. For sure, those of you who has learned samba rolls with me uh, know this video. Uh, you know what I'm gonna say right now. Write it down quickly. Let's see if you can write it down before I put it put it on. Um, I give you ten seconds. What am I gonna show you right now? What video? Nobody has an idea? No one knows. No. Everybody who I talk somewhere else should know by now. The video is called Rotate Your Owl, right? It shows the uh, owl, right? It shows the bird that keeps its head in the same spot, even though the rest of its body is, is rotated. It keeps its body, in, it keeps its eye, eyes locked in the same spot. And that's how I want you to be, basically just like that right now, right? So they even covered one of its eyes and it still keeps um, keeps head in the same spot. So we, what we're going to do, the stage number one, stage, oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, we're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. So, but first by yourself, so we can kind of um, I think get an idea. With, ah, can I do that? Yes. Actually, Pasco can do this with me. It's even easier. Can you uh, just hold my head in space? I will show you what I need. So she holds my head, and I can travel with my hips, right? Now, I'm not going to use my feet anymore. I'm just going to do a circle 
with my hips. So I can move my hips forward or back or one side or another side. So if you know the isolation video, you know that we start with, we finish with this, right? We stick the hip to the side, we bring our hips forward or back, right? So now, stage number one, I want you to be able to do that motion, right? Just make a circle with your hips. Now, um, might be easier if I stand the other way, right? So my hips, I think that way you can see me in the correct, in the correct direction. So my hips go forward, then they go to the left. Whatever you can see, my hips going left. Then they go back, and then I go to the side. Can you do it the other way? So, uh -huh. so, so, yeah. So my hips go to the left, to the front, sorry, then to the left, then to the back, then to the side. Can you do it the other way? So I you go to the right. So you're going to be right when I say that. Okay. Forward. Yes. 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 So when you look at me, my head is in the same same place the whole time, right? I keep my knees together and my hips are moving forward or under or to the side or behind, right? You should be able to do this with partner as well. Don't try this right now if you, if you, if you don't know how, but you should be able to just hold your partner. You don't stand behind one another, but off to the side a little bit. And then my hips go under and we just make a full circle. As you can see, our heads barely move. Okay, stage number two, and that's good for today. Uh, we're gonna learn the steps for samba rolls. So, if you know reverse turn from uh, from uh, Vinny's waltz, from slow waltz, from uh, Vinny's cross, from tango, it's the same step, right? You stand on your right foot. You start with left. Here we go. One, ah, uh, two. You cross. Tiny, tiny step. Then we're going with the super small step behind. Three, four, ah. Uh. I probably gave you wrong counting, so let's try it again. I'm gonna go across. One, two, ah, uh. three, four, ah. Uh. That's it. So don't worry about your hips right now. Let's just do the steps. Forward, side, cross, back, around, side, cross or away from the camera, forward, side, cross, back, around, cross, right? Don't worry about the shapes, don't do anything funny with your arms, just put your arms down and try it again. Let's step forward, to the side, cross, back, side, close. All right, that's it. So you already have two out of three stages in Samba rolls, right? Now the last stage is really when we can try it finally together, right? So I'm just gonna maybe a little bit turn like this and I'm gonna show you how it looks when we try it together. Huh? I know, I know, but that's what we're gonna do at the studio when we are back after the break, right? So we're gonna take a step forward, side, cross, back, around, close, and rotate, right? That's it, that's it. And then you leave your partner. Right, uh, so uh, so really, that's that's it. Uh, the step seems really difficult. It is really difficult when you try to do some funny stuff on your own. But all you will need to do for next week, this is your homework right now. Just stay in place and let your hips roll. Right. So um, just to be clear, because I'm not sure how it looks in the camera. Is it the right way or the or the left way? So my hips go to the left, to the front, to the left, to the back, to the side. And that's what I want you to do with your hips, right? I think by now, yeah, yeah, that, just do that. Then we can add our upper body rotation and so on, but that's later, that's at the studio. So these are the two steps that I really wanted you to learn through today's session, okay? They are not very easy, but they are not very difficult either, right? So as long as you follow these instructions, you will be fine, okay? Um, this is not a class where we're going to where we are going to sweat in the front of TV and work out. This is something that you can take with you and learn. I, I I'm glad that I could shoot shit shoot a lot of birds with one stone because this is the fundamental information for samba rolls, and this step is not really that difficult if we if we learn this. And volta is just this beautiful basic step that if you keep 
the hip action, that this R1, R2, R3, R4, it, it looks so much better than if you, I will attempt this. This is, this is what I see from, from, from some Volta beginners. No, I cannot do it wrong. Hold on, I, I don't try it. So it's an R1, R2, they go R1, R2, R3, R4. It's really bad. It's, I, it's very hard to do it. So I just really want you to, huh? I just think the biggest mistake is uh -huh. not opening the foot. Yeah, so if you yeah, practice yeah. that would be Can good. Can you lower way. the camera a little bit? Yeah. So, so if you're going to do Volta and you go like this, ah, uh, one, it looks like you have to go to bathroom. Like you cannot keep it anymore and you have to go to bathroom. I know some of you are very familiar with this skill, right? So what I want you to do is turn on this foot, put on ball of the foot, Behind. and leave the room for that other foot, right? So it's not in line, it's not too far back, the small step, on the ball of the foot, straight knees, bent knees. Ah, uh, one, ah, uh, two. That's it. That's it. That's very, very easy. Now, since we you made it this far into the video, we're going to try to do this couple of more times with music, and then again, I'm going to challenge you with the plank. So let's try and let's start with music first. Um, and everybody leaves before playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, where is my song? Ma 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 Gina. Okay. Oh. Here we go. I love this song. So we're gonna start with drum ball. Wow. See, I first step is very long in comparison to others. So one, two, ah, uh, three, four, and then this is really large step. Ah, uh, one, and that gives me the momentum to run. Circular volta. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so small volta third. It helps you to spot your eyes, okay? And then some rolls. We just go to the steps. One, two, up, three, four, up, one, two, up, three, four, up, one, two, up, three, four, up. And then the hip action. We go forward, around. Again, one, two, three, four, and one. Three, four, five. and hold the hand in place. Okay, not an easy, not a crazy difficult step either. Now, 
let's do it. It's time for plank. So I have the song, new song for that matter. If you have room at home, that's good. If you don't have room at home, I don't believe it. You always have enough room for the plank. So let's do this. Pascal, you gonna join us? So last week, I think we've done one minute or maybe 45 seconds. Anyways, it's time to step it up, to challenge yourself. Let's do one minute, 15 seconds. Let me tell the story. So, I have the timer here. We're gonna start at 30 seconds in to the song. Here we go. So, make sure that your butt is not going too low or too high. Just keep it straight. You can go up on your arms like this, or in the lower plank, or you can go fancy like that. I don't want to go too fancy because I'll get tired. Okay, so you already have done 30 seconds. I really hope you're all doing it because I don't want to be sweating by myself. Okay, 45 seconds in, half a more minute. It's all in your head. If you feel like giving up, if you feel like your core is giving up, or your back is hurting, it's just your head. Believe me, I hate working out. So if I can do it, for sure you can do it. Uh, so we did a minute, now we have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Okay. Who did it? Huh? Who did it? Please write down if you did it. Please write down in the comments if you if you did it. Okay. Time to summarize the class. If you'd like to join me, let's go. So please write down if you did your plank. I see nobody is writing down. <laughs> you all were just watching and laughing at us. Uh, it's okay. Um, well, I'm sure you you have you had the chance to see some videos from from Tom, from Eddie. Oh, very good job! You did it. Congratulations. Um, from Sergio, from uh, Veronica, the arm styling video. Done. Very good job, Lauren. Thank you very much for doing this. Um, remember, it's just in your head. Anyways, I'm sure you had chance to see the <laughs> you had chance to see uh, some other videos, other lessons. Now it's really time to uh, reflect on yourself. It's time to <laughs> calm down. You did it the wrong way. How did you do it the wrong way? How how can you do the plank the wrong way? I don't know, lay down on the floor. Upside down? Upside down, <laughs> upside down plank. I did it all night, last night. Anyways, let's let's focus for a second. Um, I'm really, really happy that we have chance to connect at least through, um, I will say in a second, uh, through uh, internet. YouTube. Through internet, right, right, sorry. Uh, it's really weird what's happening that we will not be able to dance for a while now for sure uh, but it's all for the best and thank you very much to all of you for for pitching in and staying at home and staying staying healthy and and protecting yourself from uh, getting sick or from spreading the disease even if you're not uh, showing the symptoms uh, I'm very very happy that we all take it seriously you see what happens in Spain and Italy when people don't take it seriously when they just joke around that uh, about that, then unfortunately, a lot of bad stuff happens. But I'm very happy that that we had chance to to connect like this, even though we stay at home in closure. Be proud of yourself that you joined this class. Uh, be happy that that you have chance to connect with your friends like that. Appreciate that. It's very very important to. Um, It's, it's important to appreciate your friends and all the things that we still can do 
uh, even when we have to be in the closure. Now, my favorite dance is obviously samba. My second favorite dance is cha cha. So, uh, was correct? Yeah, we don't look stressed, but we do plank every day. Uh, so, who said cha cha? Millet and Lisa Mao said uh, cha cha. So, I owe you some uh, chocolate dipped, uh, chocolate covered prunes. My favorite candy of them all. Uh, so, once more, be proud of yourself. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I will talk to the boys, uh, to Eddie and Sergio, see what's the schedule like for next week. I would like to see you guys again online. Um, I would like to again take advantage and work on some technical basics that we never have the opportunity to work on. And thank you very much, Pascal, for having me. Thank you guys class. for joining. And uh, if you haven't seen yet, Tiger King, it's an excellent show. Lisa, you were right, I got hooked. We saw the whole, all, all seven or eight episodes at once on Sunday. Didn't stop from the episode one. If some of you haven't seen yet Shit's Creek, thank you for recommendation. Uh, Eddie, thank you for recommendation. Uh, uh, Lauren, that's that's very nice. We finished Love it. you too, Maletti. Maletti, 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 Maletti. Uh, and, and uh, just thank you very much for joining us. I'm very, very happy that you stay, stay with us throughout the whole video. One person logged off quicker, so probably, let's blame it on Lisa. She probably had to <laughs> Uh, drive home or something. But thank you very much for, for joining and uh, make yourself a good dinner. Bye-bye.